Hello everybody, mega goal number three. Second secondary unit four TV around the world, eight reading, pages 60 and 61. Let's take a look at the objectives. Number one, read and answer the given questions. Number two, discuss the lesson. Number three, discuss your favorite TV shows. أول هدف راح يكون قراءة وكذلك الإجابة على بعض الأسئلة. الهدف الثاني راح يكون مناقشة الدرس. الهدف الثالث راح يكون مناقشة أفضل البرامج التلفزيونية لديك. A brief overview of the history of television, pages 60 and 61. نبدأ مختصرة عن تاريخ التلفاز. Before we start with this lesson, I'd like to revise with you the vocab from the previous lesson. طبعا هذه الكلمات موجودة في درس القراءة. براجعكم فيها وكانت طبعا سبق ودرسناها في الدرس السابق. The first one is evolution, distinct, prototype, transmit, patent, milestone, affluence. A brief overview of the history of television, pages 60 and 61. And before we start with the reading passage, we have a couple of questions that we, we should discuss before. طبعا بعض الأسئلة اللي لازم نناقشها قبل الدرس The first one Television is popular around the world Why do you think it is so popular? مثل ما تعرفين التلفاز جدا مشهور أو مو مشهور يعني نقدر نقول لا شعبية حول العالم لماذا باعتقادكم لا هذه الشعبية؟ And how much do you know about television? ما مدى معرفتكم بالتلفاز؟ If you have answers to these questions, you are welcome to leave them in the comment box below. إذا كانت عندكم إجابات لهذه الأسئلة، بإمكانكم تتركونها في box التعليقات. Now, please move on to pages 60 and 61. A brief overview of the history of television. Right now, you will be listening to the recording. And after each paragraph, I'm going to pause it. And of course, we will discuss it. And then, of course, summarize it. راح نسمع كل باراجراف سبريتلي بشكل مفرد وبعدها طبعا راح نلخصه وكذلك راح نناقشه سو جيت ريدي تو ليسن pages 60 and 61 8 reading a brief overview of the history of television Television was not invented overnight by a single person. The work of many people over a number of decades contributed to its evolution. In the early days, two distinct schools of thought in technology... So let's just stop here. As you could see, it's obvious, طبعا واضح, انو اي passage عادة ان الباراجراف الاول يكون introduction. So television was not invented overnight by a single person. The work of many people over a number of decades contributed to its evolution. طبعا التلفاز ما تم باختراعه او اكتشافه في ليلة واحدة بواسطة شخص واحد. هو عبارة عن مجموعة عمل مجموعة من الاشخاص طبعا على مدى عقود من السنوات وهالشي ساهم في تطوره. Now let's move on to the second paragraph. ننتقل للباراجراف الثاني. influenced different researchers and the course of their investigation. The first one was based on the technology of Paul Nipkow's rotating disks that supported a mechanical television system, and the second one on an electronic television system that used a cathode ray tube developed independently by two inventors, Campbell Swinton and Rosing. So let's just stop here and let's go back and discuss this paragraph. So this paragraph talks about the two technology schools. المدرستين البار اللي في التكنولوجيا اللي أثرت على اكتشاف التلفاز. Two distinct schools of thought and technology influenced different research and the course of their investigation. طبعاً مدرستين في التكنولوجيا أثرت على البحوثات وكذلك البحوثات الاستقصائية في طبعاً اكتشاف التلفاز. The first one was based on the technology of Paul Nipkon's rotating disks that supported a mechanical television system. طبعا أول واحد أول مدرسة كانت تعتمد على التكنولوجيا في طبعا اللي هو قرص نيبكون ليدعم نظام التلفزيون الميكانيكي. 
The second one, the second school, uh, طبعا تعتمد على the second one of an electronic television system that is used a cathode ray tube developed independently by two inventors, Campbell Swintons and Rosing. طبعا المدرسة الثانية تعتمد على الكاثود ray tube اللي هي انبوب الكاثود أشعة الكاثود اللي مثل ما انتم شايفين الآن. And this is Campbell Swinton and this is uh, his invention. طبعا اللي هو الكاثود ray tube. Now let's move on to the next paragraph. ننتقل للبراغراف الثاني. Paul Nipkow, 1860-1940, who invented the Nipkow disk in 1884, was the first person to discover the scanning principle that allowed small portions of an image to be analyzed and transmitted. However, it is unclear whether Nipkow actually built a working prototype of his television system. Electronic television is based on the development of the cathode... Sorry, let's just stop here. And let's discuss this paragraph. As you could see, this paragraph talks about Paul Nipko. Paul Nipko invented the Nipko disk in 1884. He was the first person to discover the scanning principle that allows small portions of an image to be analyzed and transmitted. طبعا بول نيبكو هو مثل ما انتم عارفين هو اللي اكتشف او اخترع قرص نيبكو او ديسك نيبكو مثل ما انتم عارفين هو كان اول شخص اللي اكتشف نظام المسح اللي يعتمد على نسخ طبعا نسخ allows small portion of an image يعني أجزاء صغيرة من الصور أنها تتحلل وكذلك تنقل تتحلل بمعنى يتم تحليلها and this is Paul Nipko and his invention the Nipko's uh, disk though it is unclear whether Nipko actually built a working prototype of his television system لكن مو واضح إذا هو طبعا بنى أو يعني بنى نموذج أولي للتلفاز now let's move on to the next paragraph cathode ray tube which can still be found in modern television sets Philo Farnsworth, 1906 to 1971, was the first inventor to transmit a television image, a dollar sign, using the dissector tube, which is the basis of all current electronic televisions. The American engineer started experimenting with electricity when he was 12, when he built an electric motor and produced an electric washing machine. He was still in high school when he conceived of his ideas for television. A lot of people... So uh, let's uh, discuss another development uh, طبعا uh, في التلفاز تطور ثاني في التلفاز and another inventor ومكتشف uh, طبعا أو مخترع آخر Philo France Worth Electronic television is based on the development of the, of the cathode ray tube which can still be found in modern television sets طبعا تعرفين أن التلفزيونات الإلكترونية تعتمد على تطوير اللي ذكرناها من قبل اللي هي انبوب أشعة الكاثود طبعا هذه موجودة للآن في التلفزيونات اللي نستخدمها للآن Philo France Worth was the first inventor to transmit a television image using the dissector tube which is the base uh, the basis of all current television electronic television طبعا فايلو فرانس وورث اللي هو اللي اكتشف نظام نقل الصورة واستخدم انبوب التشريح and this is فايلو فرانس وورث this is فايلو فرانس وورث and his invention when فايلو was 12 he built an electronic motor and produced an electric washing machine he was still in high school when he conceived of his uh, ideas for television. طبعا فايلو كان عنده اهتمامات بالتكنولوجيا وبالالكترونيات منذ كان عمره صغير مثل ما انتم شايفين. طبعا في عمر 12 he built an electric motor وكذلك produced an electric washing machine مثل ما انتم شايفين. 
لما كان في الثانوية بدأ في تصور أفكاره للتلفاز. Now let's move on to the next paragraph. People wrongly believe that color television is a recent idea. In actual fact, the earliest proposal for color television was patented in 1904, while in 1925, Zworykin filed his proposal for an all-electronic color television system. Commercial broadcasting, however, started in the early 50s, a quarter of a century later. John Baird... So, this paragraph talks about colored television. التلفزيونات الملونة طبعا التلفزيونات الملونة قصد فيها اللي تبس صور ملونة A lot of people wrongly believe that color television is a recent idea في كثير يفكرون ان التلفزيون بالصور الملونة يعتبر فكرة حديثة طبعا هذه فكرة خاطئة The earliest proposal for color television was patent in 1904 While in 1925 is working filled his proposal for an all electric electronic color television system طبعا اول uh, طبعا the earliest proposal كان تقريبا في عام 1904 بعدها في عام 1925 زوركن and this is him uh, قدم طلب ان يكون uh, كل انظمه التلفزيون ملونه but actually, لكن في الحقيقة, commercial broadcasting, however, started in the early early fifties, a quarter of a century later. بعد ربع قرن تم البث التجاري للcolored TV. Now another uh, development uh, in TV, and of course another inventor. So get ready to listen, and then later on we will discuss it. to 1946 is a researcher who is best remembered for inventing a mechanical television system based on Nipkow's scanning disk idea. Actually, his work included a number of technological milestones in the history of television. He created the first televised pictures of objects in motion, 1924, the first televised human face, 1925, color television, 1928, stereoscopic television, and television by infrared light that were presented and demonstrated before the 1930s. Vladimir Zworkin, 1889-1982 So let's stop here and let's discuss this paragraph. So this paragraph talks about John Bird. So John Bird is a researcher who is best remembered for inventing a mechanical television system based on Nipco scanning disk idea. طبعا جون يعني يتم تذكره انه هو المخترع اللي طبعا اللي اخترع a mechanical television system يعتمد على نظام نيبكو scanning disk. مثل ما انتم شايفين في ناس تعتمد على الكاثود ري تيوب وفي ناس تعتمد على uh, Nipco's scanning disk. His work include an, included a number of technological milestones in the history of television. يعني هو uh, يعني ساهم كثير في uh, أبرز المعالم uh, طبعا التكنولوجيا في تاريخ التلفاز. In 1924, he created the first televised pictures of objects in motion. طبعا في هذه السنة أول يعني اكتشف أو ابتكر أول صور تلفزيونية متحركة. In 1925, the first televised human face. في عام 1925 تم نقل طبعا صور الأشخاص على التلفاز. In 1928, colored television. Before the 1930s, stereo scopic television and television by infer red light that were presented and demonstrated طبعا في عام في الثلاثينات طبعا كان اللي هو اللي يسمونه المجسم التلفزيوني او التجسيم او اللي يعني اللي نعرفه بالان بشكل بمعنى 3D television 
Now another inventor, of course, and another development in television or in the history of television. Vladimir Zwerkin. Two, the inventor of iconoscope, a transmission device, as well as the kinescope, i.e. the cathode ray tube in 1929, was one of the first to demonstrate a television system with all the features of modern television, otherwise called the tube. Most people in Britain that use the word tube to refer to television fail to make the connection between the television set and the cathode ray tube. Nor do people stop and think about the meaning of the word television, which refers to the transmission of images over a distance. In 1929, Zworkin became the Director of Electronic Research at Radio Corporation of America, RCA, and was later promoted to Vice President in 1947. Zworkin invented many devices, including the scintillation counter, a device for measuring radioactivity. He held more than 80 patents and received numerous awards for his work. Lewis W. Parker patented the intercarrier so this one, this paragraph talks about uh, Vladimir Zwerkin, okay? Vladimir Zwerkin in 1929 was one of the first to demonstrate a television system with all the features of modern television, otherwise called the tube. طبعا فلاديمير هو أول شخص اللي وضح فكرة التلفزيون أو نظام التلفزيون بشكل طبعا بخصائص المودرن تلفزيون في كثير طبعا يسمون الأنبوب This is Vladimir's working and as you, you have heard مثل ما سمعتوا he won numerous awards فاز بالكثير من الجوائز طبعا نحن سبق وذكرنا فلاديمير is working في الكالور تي في وطبعا يبدو أنه هو مو بس يعني بروبوزد يعني اقترح فكرة النظام التلفزيوني الملون برضو أول شخص دومينستريت التلفزيون سيستم طبعا بالنسبة لتسمية التلفاز ففي كثير من الناس most people in Britain that use the word tube to refer to television fail to make the connection between the television set and the cathode ray tube. في كثير من الناس في بريطانيا يسمون التلفزيون الأنبوب. Okay. لكن ما يعرفون أن في علاقة بما بين أشعة الكاثود ray tube وكذلك بين التلفاز. Nor do people stop and think about the meaning of the word television, which refers to transmission of image over a distance. Now, uh, طبعا مثل ما انتم شايفين انه في كثير uh, قبل ما ننتقل للباراجراف الثاني في كثير من الناس طبعا uh, يعني ما يعرفون سبب تسمية التلفاز سبب تسمية التلفاز ان uh, كثير uh, ما يعرفون ان سبب تسمية التلفاز الحقيقية اللي هو نقل الصورة عن طريق من ب... عن بعد refers to transmission of image نقل الصور over a distance عن بعد now let's move on to the next paragraph and another inventor. Carrier sound system in 1948, which is now used in all television receivers in the world. Without it, televisions would probably have been too costly for most people. The plasma display monitor was invented in July 1964. Now let's discuss this paragraph very briefly. It's a brief paragraph. Uh, this paragraph talks about Lewis W. Parker, who patented the intercarrier sound system in 1948, uh, which is now used in all television receivers in the world. Without it, televisions would probably have been too costly for most people. طبعا بفضل هذا الشخص آه هو هو طبعا اللي آه حصل على براءة اختراع intercarrier sound system في الريسيفر اللي هي نظام نقل الصوت في الريسيفرز طبعا بدونه كان بيكون التلفاز جدا غالي على الناس Now let's move on to the next paragraph And this paragraph will be talking about plasma TV or television 
by professors Bitzer and Slotow, and their graduate student, Robert Wilson. However, successful plasma television became feasible later, after the development of digital and other technologies. A factor that delayed the commercial development of plasma display was connected with LCD, or liquid crystal displays, which made flat screen television possible. This minimized one of the advantages of plasma television in terms of a flat screen with an improved image. So it has taken a lot longer for plasma display to become more widely acceptable and accessible. Until recently, a plasma television screen was regarded to some extent as a symbol of affluence or status along with other possessions. So let's stop here. And this paragraph talks about plasma television. The plasma display monitor was invented in July 1964 by Professor Pitzer and Slaughter and their graduate student Robert Robert Wilson. طبعاً تم اكتشاف البلازما في عام 1964. After the development of digital and other technologies, plasma television became fe feasible, but there was a factor that delayed the commercial development of plasma display was connected with the LCD or liquid crystal displays, which made flat screen television possible. طبعا بعد تطورات في العالم الرقمي في التكنولوجيا أصبحت تقنيات البلازما ممكنة بس في كان عامل أثر على طبعا التطور التجاري للبلازما اللي هو لا علاقة بالLCD أو مثل ما يسمونه Liquid Crystal Display بعدها طبعا أصبحت شاشات البلازما ممكنة this minimizes one of the advantages of plasma television in terms of a flat screen with an improved image. It has taken a lot longer for a plasma display to become more widely acceptable and accessible. Until recently, a plasma television screen was regarded to some extent as a symbol of affluence or status along with other positions. Uh, this minimize قلل طبعا من ال اللي هو ال LCD نظام اللي ال LCD اللي إحنا تناقشنا uh, قلل أو minimize one of the advantages uh, طبعا واحدة من مميزات البلازما إنه شاشة مسطحة وطبعا صورة أفضل uh, طبعا بالنسبة للبلازما حتى وقت يعني مؤخرا حتى حتى الوقت ليتلي يعني حتى مؤخرا تعتبر من الرفاهيه مثل مو كل الناس يعني يقدرون يشترون بلازما وكانت تعتبر من عما من علامات يعني مثل ما يقولون اللي الناس اللي عندهم فلوس او عندهم ثروه يقدرون يشترون بلازما بس طبعا الناس الحين طيب طبعا اكيد تغيرت الفكره تورز بلازما تلفزيون لان كثير الحين they have one now let's move on to the conclusion and the last paragraph. Let's listen to it and then of course discuss it and summarize it. Now, a new development is affecting communication and media further, namely that of web or internet television. When internet access is available, along with adequate hardware, more and more viewers appear to be switching over to their laptops or desktops to watch films and other programs. Television sets are connected, allowing access to digital channels. The key word seems to be access. It is quick access and options that determine the popularity and, consequently, the commercial success of a medium. Television has so far been fairly well established. It remains to be seen how digital technology will affect its evolution in the future. So this is the conclusion of this reading passage. Now a new development is affecting communication and media further. Namely that or web or internet television. More and more viewers appear to be switching over to their laptops or desktops to watch films and other programs. Television sets 
are connected, allowing access to digital channels. The keyword seems to be access. طبعا مثل ما انتو الحين شايفين صار في سويتش يعني صار في نقلة او تحول في عالم التلفزيون كثيرين من الناس بسبب طبعا توفر الانترنت والاتصال السريع بالشبكة كذلك آه كثيرين من الناس زي سويتش انه انتقلوا من مشاهدة التلفاز الى مشاهدة القنوات على آه اجهزتهم المحمولة او اجهزة الكمبيوتر اوكي ناو Television has so far been fairly well established. It remains to be seen how digital technology will affect its evolution in the future. طبعا انتو تعرفين ان التلفزيون يعني شيء اصبح well established جدا يعني راسخ. لكن يبقى انه ما نعرف ايش التكنولوجيا راح تأثر على تطوره في المستقبل. Now, after we have read and discussed this reading passage, we have a couple of questions to answer. And now, بعض الأسئلة لازم نجاوبها to check your understanding. Of course, I'm gonna do one question. I'm gonna answer one question, and then the rest you can do them by yourself. Explain what the two main schools of thought were in the early days. إنتوا عارفين طبعاً ناقشنا المدرستين في التكنولوجيا اللي أثرت على اكتشاف أو عفواً تطور واكتشاف كذلك التلفزيون. The two main schools of thought were Paul Nipkow's rotating disk, sorry, rotating disks, and a cathode ray tube developed independently by Campbell, Swinton, and Rosing. طبعا المدرستين اللي ناقشناهم من قبل اللي هي اللي تعتمد على ديسك نيبكو والثانية اللي هي قرص نيبكو والثانية اللي تعتمد على انبوب اشعة الكاثود Now as for the speaking I'm gonna just give you uh, طبعا راح اعطيكم a brief explanation شرح مبسط and then of course you can do this exercise with your uh, teacher in class you are asked to make a list of your favorite TV shows and why you like them. طبعا مطلوب منك انك تعمل قائمة بأفضل البرامج التلفزيونية لديك وطبعا الأسباب اللي دعتك انك يعني تفضلها. Then later on you are asked to talk about بعدها طبعا مطلوب انك to talk about TV shows in group and use the chart to make notes. Compare your lists and decide which shows uh, which shows are popular within your group طبعا مطلوب انكم تناقشونها كمجموعة وبعدها تقررون ايش البرامج المفضلة في مجموعتك use the chart to find about the rest of the groups طبعا مطلوب كذلك ان احنا نعرف عن بقية المجموعات في الفصل and make notes organize and edit your notes in your groups compare findings in class طبعا هنا مجموعة من الأسئلة طبعا مطلوب مناقشتها في الجروبس ومطلوب مناقشتها على مستوى الفصل Which TV shows are the most popular among your friends? Why are these shows popular with your friends? What do you like about these shows? What do you dislike about these shows? السؤال الأول طبعا اللي هما مجموعة المفضلة من البرامج التلفزيونية واللي بعدها أي أكثر آه طبعا آه why لماذا سبب طبعا لماذا هذه البرامج مفضلة وآخر سؤالين آه إيش اللي تحب بخصوص هذه البرامج وإيش اللي طبعا you dislike اللي ما تحب خصوص هذه البرامج so right now we have reached the end of the lesson I know it has been a bit a long lesson كان درس شوي طويل I hope that you found it very beneficial don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and leave me a thumb up. Till next time, have a good one.